Y'all going to do it, ain't you? Y'all going to elect that woman. Welcome to another Lord Fader's Perspective. This one is going to be on your girl, Kamala Harris, man. Y'all going to do it, ain't you? Y'all going to elect that woman, aren't you? Without even considering the kind of person that she truly is. We're about to watch a video where art, I guess it's imitating life or life is imitating art. And I would say you can't make this stuff up, but apparently somebody did. Check this out. Words have many meanings, and sometimes instead of conveying our meaning, they can suggest other meanings. When we talk about the children of the community, they are a children of the community. Well, we are the United States of America because we are united. And we are states. Of the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. Whatever we have in store cannot be known. The past was once the future. The future is, I should say, unknown. We gotta take this stuff seriously, as seriously as you are, because you have been forced to have to take it seriously. Obesity is a serious disease, and it needs to be taken seriously. Certain issues are just settled. Clearly we're not. No, that's right, and that's why I do believe that we are living, sadly, in um, real unsettled times. <laughs> I am almost speechless, man. What is she saying? See, that's unscripted. Now that she's running for president, they're going to roll that script out in that teleprompter. You're going to see she's going to be prompt her. Look, look at what I did. That teleprompter. See, you're going to notice she's going to become a lot more articulate a lot sooner. And that should be a, a, a red flag. That should be a dead giveaway right there. People, listen to me. This is not the lady you need to be electing, but this is probably probably the person that you're going to elect. Because I believe there's more degenerates out there than there are people who want to make America great. And I know that's a catchphrase and a buzzword, but we need to make America great. I don't care about making it great again. It needs to be great now. The, America is like Marvel. We started out strong. We started out great. But then we started catering so much to these special interest groups that guess what? We're a shadow of our former selves, man. Does anybody else remember when Kamala Harris was the border czar? They just, you know, put her in charge of the border, not of the country. And let's see what a bang up job she did with that, shall we? We are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you. this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. <laughs> Whoa, really? You haven't been to Europe? They, they put you in charge of the border and you ain't never been? Lord help us all. And also, you know, I think it's very important that our future president have a grasp on reality, you know, to be able to differentiate between what's real and what's not. And as always, Wakanda forever. A couple of things. Wakanda is not a real place. It's imaginary. It exists in a comic book. Second thing, you're Indian. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes, yes. Okay, and okay. I don't know that everybody knows that. Let me say it again. You're Indian. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes, yes. Okay, and okay. I don't know that everybody knows that. Not black. Please stop hijacking the black race just to get some black votes when you're clearly not black. Oh my God. All right, and now let's take a listen at our potential possible president's view on foreign policy. 
Ukraine is a country in Europe. It yep. exists next to another country called Russia. Russia yep. is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Yep. Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. So basically, that's wrong. Uh, no, duh. <laughs> oh. How about we take a look at Senator Harris's record, shall we, for a second? Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She what? blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And that should tell you, American people, what she thinks about you. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. <laughs> well, now, off to a great start. Does anybody out there remember this? Vice President have a point there? Some things you can. Many things you can't. Let's let the senator answer. Well, I mean, I would just say, hey, Joe, instead of saying no, we can't, let's say yes, we can. What? <laughs> let's be constitutional. Why is she always laughing like she just hit the bomb? We got a and yes, we can, because you know, he reminds me of that, that guy in The Wizard of Oz, you know, when you pull back the curtain, it's a really small dude. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> They're not laughing with you, babe. They laughing at you. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Our future president, ladies and gentlemen, future president or crazy person, you be the judge. You guys are gonna see. You're gonna literally see the craters on the moon with your oh, own eyes. Oh my goodness. With your own eyes, I'm telling you. And let's continue to have a few words, shall we, about Miss Kamala Harris, the blackest Indian woman. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. Okay, and okay. I don't know that everybody knows that. That you'll never meet. Let's talk about Kamala Harris, who may be the most appallingly disingenuous vice president the United States has ever had since Elbridge Jerry invented gerrymandering back in 1813. And that's uh, an understatement. Now, I don't know what is more galling about her. Is it that she continually says things that are totally ridiculous? Or... Is it that the same Democrats who lost their minds over Sarah Palin and Dan Quayle are totally okay with her, even suggesting that, hey, she might be an okay president one day? The most galling thing to me is that she had an affair with a married politician named Willie Brown in California, and that uh, she was a kept sugar baby, getting 76000 to I believe $176,000, allegedly, for doing nothing but shaking her boom thing and uh, polishing this man's knob. This is her entrance into politics, ladies and gentlemen. God help us is all I can say to that. Let me play a little grab here of the vice president this week. Check this out. Yeah, let's check this I'm out. I'm going to share with you a very simple story, which is that I went home one day and I said, well, what's... Why are conservatives bad, mommy? Because I thought we were supposed to conserve things. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she always cackle like she just hit the bomb? <laughs> I couldn't reconcile it. Now I can. That's some good weed. <laughs> <sighs> Why? Why? I gotta ask. Does she always laugh? like a stoner kid who's just discovered old YouTubes of Cheech and Chong. 
That's my question. Anyway, taken by itself, this would sound like just another self-serving white lie by the vice president. I mean, does anyone really believe that that ever happened? No, oh, come on. No. She is such, has such a fantastic history of this sort of thing. But I mean, remember, it. back before she became vice president, Kamala Harris did a puff piece with Elle magazine, and in that st story, she told the tale of going to a civil rights march with her parents and getting upset after she fell from her stroller. Yeah, man, you know, it was a lot of white people that went to them civil rights marches. Now, the article has Kamala Harris telling the story like this. My mother tells me about how I'm fussing, Harris says. Her Indian mother, ladies and gentlemen. And she's like, baby, what do you want? What do you need? And I just looked at her, this is Kamala Harris speaking, and I said, freedom. Yeah, for real. Now, a lot of observers at the time noted that this sounded awfully like a story Martin Luther King Jr. had told to Playboy magazine way back in 1965, back in the days when Playboy was not only a magazine, but also, yes, worth reading for the articles. In the piece, King said, I will never forget a moment in Birmingham when a white policeman accosted a little girl, seven or eight years old, a little Negro girl, who was walking in a demonstration with her mother. What do you want? The policeman asked her gruffly, and the little girl looked him straight in the eye and answered, feed him. She couldn't even pronounce it, King said, but she knew it was beautiful. Really? Now, does anybody really believe Kamala Harris told the truth just then? Well, that's an inspiring story, and that's why I am skeptical for thinking that Kamala Harris's little kitty conservative skeptical. caper may have been stretching the truth just a bit. You think? Because at this point, I mean, it's like, really, where does the TV show Veep end and the Kamala Harris vice presidency begin? I guess we should be glad she's only using stories about herself as a baby rather than a real baby. Yo, this is beyond upsetting. It, it, this is a, 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 a dog and pony show at this point. It's absolutely crazy that this person is even being considered for president. And the race hustling man, Michelle Obama and, you know, Barack Obama, who ain't black himself, endorsing this lady man to be president all of the women that's gonna vote for her will only prove why women should not vote not only should women not vote most of you men should not vote either because y'all don't even have no stake you ain't served this country you ain't performed no service for your country you haven't even done any civil service most of y'all only thing y'all have done is time and y'all people gonna get out here and put this lunatic in office, man, not even thinking about what it's gonna do to this country. Well, we shall see. We shall see. What does it mean when you say you're in the stream and your agenda is to fight imaginary white supremacy? Resist the rest and in many different cases You get shot, I does that make the white police a racist? Uh -huh. He got a job to do, you need to take your ass to your Instead of burning things and breaking in somebody's sure. store You seeking justice, but then you go and act unjust But all you do is make it hard for the rest of us Who out here trying to solve a problem at the root call? Use education to defeat them with their own law They trying to trigger your emotions so you don't think You watch them spike the Kool-Aid and still take a drink It's search and see will only it work if you have a plan but not our people cause we sink like we ain't quick sand we took the wrong thing from every lesson that we learned and what you see in the street today is what we earn don't call me brother you can call me an extremist if i'm a fight it won't be against the premise why the black cause there is no man that's supreme to me i'm an extremist because that is what i choose to be i move a mountain if a mountain stands in my way i use my intellect and dummies let their bullets spray there's a time to kill and there is a time to die Put the camera down, help a brother, don't be asking why If you don't understand what I'm talking about Read the Constitution sometime instead of chasing clout Social media designed to make you disconnect You get your feelings online, so easy to direct It doesn't matter if a man is white and black, I bet Anyone will die with a knee
pressed in their neck. When video is more valuable than human life. See, everybody wants the prize, but they don't want the price. The revolution should have started right then and there. But Mr. Floyd had to die because you didn't care. How do you even form the thought inside your feeble mind? You shouldn't be arrested when you out committing crime. Don't call me brother, you can call me an extremist. If I'm fighting, it won't be against the premise. White or black, cause there is no man that's supreme to me. 